Hi, in this video, I'm going to share with you three steps to conquering fear in your real estate wholesaling business. Now, uh, before I get involved in today's video, my name is Todd Toback, and I've wholesaled close to a thousand houses, and 95% of those were locked up by someone outside, okay, other than me, okay, inside my organization. And I specialize in turning real estate hustlers, real estate wholesalers, into owners and um, owners of, of real estate wholesale businesses so that their businesses can kick off cash month after month after month month without their personal involvement. How good does that sound? So this is the first time that uh, you're watching. Uh, head on over to nextlevelwholesaling.com and you want to download the Next Level Wholesaling Business Assessment. It's an amazing quiz. It's going to have you score yourself in the four core areas of your wholesaling business. And if you don't know the four core areas, you definitely need to download the assessment. It's going to have you score yourself. It's going to pit out, spit out a score. And it's going to tell you you are here, right, in your wholesale business journey. Basically tell you how much of a hustler compared to a business owner where, uh, where you're at. And it'll give you a great perspective and really a direction to go from... Here, so make sure to go to Next Level Wholesaling and download that assessment. Okay, so three ways to absolutely, three steps to absolutely destroying fear in your real estate wholesaling business. I'm going to kick this one off with a story, okay? And um, this one's very near and dear to my heart because I will never forget it. By the way, below in the comments, if you can make a comment and let me know what city and state you are uh, watching this from, just below. Let me know the city and state you're, you're watching. So five years ago, I was swimming in La Jolla Cove, okay, and that's in San Diego, California. And if you don't know where that is, uh, in the middle of winter, the water is cold, it's foggy, uh, the waves can get choppy at times, and this day was no different. It was a Sunday morning, and uh, we go to church on Sunday, and so my wife likes me back at the house at 8 a.m. So I went swimming uh, with a buddy out there and uh, we started swimming at 5 a.m., right? It was dark and there was a little bit of fog, but it wasn't uh, absolutely like crazy, right? You could still see. And so I was swimming out to uh, Scripps Pier from La Jolla Shores. It's a mile and a half each way. And the way that it's structured is that you're actually swimming out in the open water. It's not along the shore. It's point to point. So if the shore is here, right? I'm swimming from here to here. So there's a lot of space where you're like in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the ocean. And so I'd gotten to Scripps Pier, which is a mile and a half, and I started to swim back. Well, on the way back, all of a sudden, right, the wind started picking up like crazy. It was like, whoosh, and the, uh, the swells, right, really started to kick up, started to get really, really wavy. There was white caps, and then fog rolled in. It was like something out of a movie, all right? F fog rolled in, and I couldn't even see in front of my face, right? So all of a sudden, my buddy is gone. The wind is kick kicked up. There's massive um, white caps, you know, in front of me. I'm swallowing water, and I can't even see, right? And right then and there, fear just, like, crept in every part of my body, right? I was a swimmer in college, and I'm really, really comfortable in the water. Well, I can tell you at this moment, I was not comfortable, right? And of course, at this point, if you've struggled with this in your business or even a person, all of a sudden, I started telling myself a story, right? I couldn't see shore. I couldn't see my buddy, you know, the water, the, the, the temperature. And all of a sudden, I'm thinking, I'm going to drown, right? I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to get you know, I'm gonna get eaten by a shark, right? I mean, you, you can't even fathom what's going on. I was starting to get hungry. And, you know, like all of a sudden, I was like starting to panic, right? And so the very, very, very thing that I feared, right, was happening because I wasn't taking action. That's a little precursor, a little, uh, a little foreshadowing of how I'm going to end this video, okay? But I froze, and because I was so scared, I didn't take action, right? Just sitting there kind of treading water. And the more I thought about it, right, I'm thinking about the shark, thinking about how you know hungry I am, I'm thinking about not seeing, and I'm making myself more tired just by not moving, all right? So right then and there, I identified the problem, right? I, I identified, hey, listen, I'm really scared of drowning, I'm scared of sharks, I'm scared of not being able to make it to the other side, okay? The second thing, though, was that I identified, okay, my next action, right? Because I'm like, okay, what are you thinking of? I, I really... In my head, I processed, okay, 
what is the next thing that I have to do to advance or get out of my situation, right? And so I started to reason, well, if I sit here, right, I'm probably shark bait. Uh, if I sit here, I'm eventually going to tire and I'm going to drown, right? If I sit here, my situation is not going to get better, right? But ironically, in a lot of situations, sometimes we just freeze, right? If, if we're trying to advance in our businesses, we freeze. And the very thing that we are scared of, right, that the, the hire that we want to create or the new mailing campaign or the new marketing channel, the new strategy that we want to implement, right, we do not take action because we're scared, right? But sometimes, right, because we don't take action, the very thing that we're scared of, that end result, maybe running out of money or, you know, the business drying up, that very thing happens because we don't take action, right? So back to the story. I'm in the water, and at that moment, I, I, I kind of took an inventory of where I was. I said, you know what? I've got to start swimming. And so I was just I was destined to get to back to La Jolla Shores, or I'm sorry, La Jolla Cove as fast as I could. So I started swimming, and I was just counting my strokes, right? Every 20, I'd lift my head up. Every 20, I'd lift my head up. And I was looking for shore, and I still couldn't. I was kind of using my internal compass. And I was going and going, going, and finally my heart rate was so high, but my movement was going. Once I got going, the fear started to disappear. Anyway, I'm about 400 yards from shore, I can finally see it, right? I'm moving so fast, right? When all of a sudden, I see a massive shark swim right underneath me. Okay, now I've been swimming in the ocean ever since I was 16, and I have never seen a shark swim underneath me before, all right? And I've always been scared of shark. The crazy thing about this, right, was that when I saw the shark swim underneath me, right, I was so scared of it before. I was moving so fast. I was so focused on my target. My heart rate was to the roof. I didn't even flinch. I didn't even flinch about the shark. It's almost like I didn't even see the shark until I got back to the shore. I was so focused on getting back and moving and, and my arms just moving, okay, that I didn't even really get scared of the shark, right? It, it was crazy, right? And so, you know, what's the moral of the story there, right? Well, number one, right, if you have fear, identify the problem, right? Identify what am I really scared of? Number two, what is the very, very next action that I need to propel myself to move forward, okay? And three, um, start taking massive action, right? When you take action, that fear will start to dissipate. It will go away, right? Uh, l let's assume for one second that, and let me just take this back to real estate. By the way, if you're just tuning in, make sure you head on to nextlevelwholesaling.com if you have not downloaded our Next Level Wholesaling Business Assessment. Okay, this is gonna tell you exactly where you are in your business. Uh, rate yourself in terms of uh, acquisition and uh, disposition, uh, accounting, and marketing. It's going to have you score you in the four core areas of your business to tell you exactly where you are at. So make sure you head on to Next Level Wholesaling and download that. So how do we take that story okay, and implement that into our wholesaling business? Okay, well, let's just say that you are on the edge and you really want to hire somebody. You want to get yourself out of your business, right? Well, all the fears start to creep in your head, right? Well, what if uh, I bring somebody in and I'm going to go broke because they're going to blow through my leads, right? What if uh, I'm going to create competition? What if I can't find the right person? What if they find out that my small little operation is just a one-man shop and they're going to judge me, right? All those fears, you know, are going to go through your head and they're going to prevent you from maybe making that first hire, all right? And I can tell you, right, if you just sit there and you remain a hustler for the rest of your life, right? Ironically, your competition is probably gonna crush you because you're overworked, right? You don't have to worry about competition because they're already out there, right? So you might as well bring and do this on with other people. I can guarantee you that, that you will find that you will blow past the competition once you start hiring people because you can think more strategically, right? And so once you identify that, say, okay, great. Like, I, I'm scared of X, Y, Z, but if I don't take action, right? All that stuff is going to happen anyway, right? So what's the second thing? Okay, well, the second thing is maybe I need to start placing some ads on Indeed, right? Or Monster, wherever that is, right? Or looking at my local rears or getting out on social media and building my brand so that people can get attracted to me, 
right? And so, yeah, you might have some fears and you don't know exactly how this is going to work. But now you say, you know what? This is the next thing. This is the one next thing that I can do. And now you start to take action and you move. You get the job ads out. Applications start coming in. Maybe you're on a Facebook Live. Whatever you got to do, right? But now you're interviewing people. And now it's in motion. It's moving, right? Well, what happens to the fear? The fear starts to go away. And it disappears because you are so busy that you don't even notice it, right? You don't notice the shark. You don't notice the shark, right? So I really want to encourage you that three-step process. Number one, identify what you're scared of. Number two, okay, what is the next best action that you can take? And number three, okay, put that action into place. Because when you take action, fear is destroyed. It disappears, okay? I can't tell you that I never struggle with fear, okay? But what I do is I, I get much better at recognizing it. Okay, and then number two, what's the next action? And three, okay, take an action to make that dissipate. Okay, so whatever level that you're trying to get, where if you're if you're brand new in this business and you're trying to do your first deal, you can apply that. Okay, for me, I specialize in working with real estate hustlers who want to now own a real estate business. Okay, maybe it's making that first hire or that second hire or you know, bringing your team together in that leadership, okay? But take that action, okay? I'm gonna end this video. Do me a favor. Let me know what your biggest fear is in your real estate wholesaling business. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your biggest fear is. Just one word. I'd love to hear from you. And let's destroy it together, okay? Head on over to nextlevelwholesaling.com. Download the assessment. This is the key for you to evaluate where you are. You are here, your start, starting point, so we can remove you from real estate hustler and turn you into real estate business owner that owns an asset that will spit out cash month after month after month without your day-to-day involvement. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you very soon.